Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back in to some more Anno 1800. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I know I had a lot of fun getting back into the game for the first time in a long time. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to keep going. So I've actually been playing for, I don't know, a little about an hour right now, just kind of, just kind of piddling around, getting some stuff done. I, I redesigned our little market area right here. There was a pub right there. I moved our pub down here along with the marketplace kind of doing a marketplace pub combo type deal and, and i just made a nice little nice little square it's just kind of something kind of fun and nice i did get everything for the variety theater and i went ahead and plopped that down right here uh right to the north of our kind of city center area and that did give us what we needed to get the actor to take effect so now we are being supplied with canned food and uh, we are being supplied with rum from that specialist as well. I'm going to keep our rum trade route going, though. It's not hurting anything. It's not going to cost me any extra money to buy the rum anymore. So I'm just going to leave that up and running for the time being. I did go and buy a bunch more steel uh, because it is time to get our sewing machine factory going. Uh, now, the sewing machine factory is rather expensive, as you can see. It's 500 maintenance, 100, 50, 50. So it's about 700. Oh, don't, we don't worry about the one lumberjack. It's cheap. It's about 700 maintenance for this the uh, sewing machine chain. On low income, we get 12 coins for supplying sewing machines. So if we do a quick bit of math on that right there, that's 58.3 or 59 artisan homes to break even on the sewing machines that's how many we need to break even uh, so it's not going to cost us more money than we're making uh, if we go and take a look at our population right here i've only got 25 artisan homes so i do need to get a few more in there uh about i need to basically double our double our artisans so let's go ahead and start doing some more upgrading here on some of these guys we can build an ai shipyard yo yeah. well yeah sure we can what did that get me to 41 all right so it's a little bit right there let's go ahead and expand the city out i've redone some of our roads as well we did a little bit of our road network just to try to uh, add a little more variety into it. But, you know, there's only so much variety you can do with a grid based game. I know it's a it's a it's a thing a lot of people don't like is the game is grid based. You know, it's been grid based for 20 something years, so it is what it is. But we will make the most of it and try to make something nice and pretty. see yeah let's just go ahead and go on over to that side right there drag that road here and pull that road to there fill oh right i was like eh because i split the difference okay cool now i'm just kind of doing some mass expansion right now uh definitely want to keep an eye when you're doing your expansions and everything and make sure you're not expanding more than what you can actually supply. You go ahead and buy up all of that. Actually, I completely said that wrong. I'm sorry if I'm seeming a little disjointed. There is a kitten underneath my feet who won't stop licking my leg and it's driving me insane. She's really distracting me. Uh, anyways, I'm doing some mass expansion right now. And what I'm planning on doing is once I uh, have kind of some of the houses in place that I want, as long as Kitten stops licking my kneecap, I'm going to go ahead and get all of our uh, productions fixed. I'll get some trees right there. I love my cat, but she picks just the she picks the wrong time to want attention from me. You know, if you have cats, you know, they uh, they never want you to to bother them until you're trying to do something. And then it's like, hey, pay attention to me. Hey, pay attention to me. And I'm like, but I'm busy. Like, pop on down here.
Okay, let's slow things down. I'm going to change this right here up a little bit. I want my minimum, st my uh, my sell stock to now be, we're gonna bump that to 50. Hi, Pumpkin. Pumpkin is the name of my cat, by the way. She is sticking her head up uh, between the desk and my legs, it's looking at me like, are you gonna pay attention to me yet? I'm busy, honey. I swear, cats. You just gotta work around them sometimes. All right, let's see. All right, so these guys right here are going to continue filling in. All right, let's uh, triple speed this so I can get some supplies coming in. I do need to come down here. I'm just going to go ahead and buy up all the timber that he's currently got. Okay, he just sold me a bunch right there, so that's going to help out a lot. All right, that gets me to uh, 49 homes. But I think we're going to be okay now. That's going to that's gonna basically take me by half. Uh, we've also unlocked fur coats and the hospital. Hospital is going to be really important that we get that up and running here soon. I hope y'all didn't just hear a big bang. Cat decided to jump on the desk. Oh, me. Anyways, um, yeah, ready to get some of this other stuff up and running here. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and check our production chains. Uh, for the most part, everything's going to be looking okay, except for that bread and the sausage. So let's run up here to where we are kind of just, you know, slapping all of this right here down. I'm going to go ahead and add in a warehouse right there for the time being. Now, we do need another set for the bakery. Um, I'm actually going to go into blueprint mode for this. We are just going to blueprint that part. I'm going to flip it this way, I think. I'll explain why I'm just doing a blueprint here in just a second. Although you may understand why I'm doing the blueprint here in just a moment. Okay. Now well, that's a little backwards from how I wanted it, but that'll work. Okay, so I just want one basically. I just want one granary for the second. I don't need both. I just need one granary and one bakery up and running. So that will take care of that problem. Uh, oh, you're okay. You're just doing that. So that ought to take care of that. Yeah, still a little tight, but it's not terrible. Okay. All right. Now, before I go ahead and I think that's another 500 for the fur dealer. Now, the fur dealer is something I am going to mass produce. Uh, just because of the simple fact that I can sell those to Madame Kahina down here for 992 each. So it's a really good thing to sell. There's some more timber for you. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, now what? Let's just go ahead and get the sewing machines up and out of the way. Sitting here talking about it. Might as well do it. That looks like a nice spot right there for it. We'll get a warehouse right there. We'll get a furnace right here. We'll need another lumberjack. We can hit you up right up here for right now. Then we just need coal coal iron there we go that's what i was looking for looking for some coal and iron next to each other make it a little easier right, coal iron 
warehouse and we need workers okay well let's get some workers in the city here way too many um there we go that'll work now that will catch up as they supply themselves and we're still doing okay still doing all right on everything so i'm not too concerned about it just yet and we'll just let that run for a second let all this right here catch up then we will start on the fur coats here in a moment I did go through quite a bit of our cash. Let's see if I've got any uh, excess soap to sell. I do, so we're gonna grab forty soap. Take on that on. Take that on down <laughs> to uh, Eli. And while that's all kind of catching up real quick, let's jump back over to the new world. Let's see what's happening with our good friend Jean. Okay, he's not wanting to do that. Uh, will you give me another quest? No quest right now. I did get a quest from him that got me uh, 33, and then I flattered him, and that got me 35. He's probably going to ask for money for a trade, for a cease, for a, you know, pay me all this money or I'll declare a war on you kind of thing. I won't take that whenever he uh, demands it. I will go ahead and let him declare war. It's just cheaper overall to just do the ceasefires. De let him declare war and then just do ceasefires back to back. That's just the that's just the cheaper way to go in the long run. Trying to see if there's anything I want to do for these guys. Um, I could give these guys rum actually. Two workers and two coins each. I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, the rum that I get from Adam Kahina will uh, completely supply that for a while, so it'll be okay. And there's really nothing else. I could do beef. Two workers and five coins. I could do the beef. Jam and sugar is a long ways off. If I turned on beef, what's that going to look like in terms of consumption, though? my curiosity oh we're underproducing grain interesting oh no we're underproducing grain because uh you know what fine go ahead and build it up just give me a few more houses then that'll work okay a couple more houses right there for that and i guess i will give them well, I really need some more farmers. Alright, let all that right there catch up. Where are you at? Sell that. There's some cash. Okay. So machines almost completely supplied. Good deal. So now I'm going to go ahead and start at least one fur coat dealer. I'll pop you right there, I guess. Uh, I do need a trade union for you. I'll put that trade union right there. Go ahead and get Frank in it. So now we just need iron and wool. So that's going to be a whole lot easier. Let's see. That's 15, but I do need another, a different one. There's an iron deposit. It's a little too far away, so we'll put another one right there. I don't have all I need for my canvas. So it's 21 seconds, and that is 30 seconds. So I'm going to have to have a sheep farm with a silo on it in order to get enough. Of everything I need right there. 
and now we are under producing grain completely now because I have too many of um, too many silos for a single grain farm. So we're gonna have to throw down another one up here. Oh my god, I'm actually made the square finally. Holy crap! I can never ever get that to happen unless I'm not trying. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What did I say I could go ahead and supply them with, maybe? Although, no, there was nothing. I can't do sugar. Can't do any of this stuff. Ship under attack. Oh, crap. Oh, it's just a gunboat. Gunboat will, is no match for a flagship. It's fine. All right. Get a few more people in here. Get another one of those in. Get another one of those. Voila. Okay, cool. Alright, so that should take care of that. Wool is now good to go. We're still okay on all of our productions. Don't need to make anything extra. Just need to wait for everything to catch up. Oh, wait, how many... Uh, what's my fur coat situation looking like? Not bad, actually. Um, producing three per minute with a demand of... Uh, that's actually about one and a half. A demand of about one and a half. Based on the position of that. So that means um, I'll be able to sell some excess fur coats to Kahina. So that's going to be good. The problem with that is she is now down here in this area. Yeah. And she's catching up real quick. She's catching up real quick to that gunboat. Oh, yeah gonna have to go and fend off her i don't have the cash yet to pay oh she may sink that i mean it's just a schooner it's not the biggest deal to lose it it sucks to lose it but you know it's a whatever i'll make another one i may have to make a couple of gunboats to protect yeah i'm not gonna be able to save it Go ahead and pick that up. Bring it up here. That's fine. I'm not really concerned about that. Like I said, um, I'm going to get a ceasefire with her soon. As soon as I have the extra cash. So, not a big deal. We'll be able to get that ceasefire here very soon. Normally I do ceasefires a lot earlier, but I decided to hold off on it. And do some economic expansion instead. So it kind of cut into my, into my money, but... It's, uh, it's definitely not the end of the world. Now, I could... That's just one artisan. Now, that's seven coins for some clay. That's decent, actually. Don't have enough workers to supply that at the moment. I uh, need 50 workers. Okay, there we go. I don't want to go all the way over there. All right, here we go. That'll work. Let's get up here and take, of course, and take uh, that clay pit. Ship constructed. Ready for assignment. Okay. All right, let's turn on the clay for the artisans. I'm not going to do wool because all it does is give me one artisan. It doesn't give me any money. So I don't really see that as useful. Uh, in terms of consumption, though, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I hereby sentence you to not very hard labor. Uh, a destruction quest? What do you want me to destroy, though? A frigate? A frigate is down there. Hmm. Oh, hey, come here, you. Hmm. I really didn't want to spend the money on a frigate right now, but I may have to. It's 20k. I don't even have 20k for a frigate at the moment. Um, I don't have enough cannons to build any because I never do that kind of stuff. I just buy all my... I'd buy my warships early on. Um... 
Might be kind of tough, but I think I might be able to take him out. I can't, I honestly, I honestly cannot remember if a frigate can take out, or a flagship can take out a frigate. I have legitimately forgot, because I never pay attention. Oh, here we go, I can see right here. 28 and 2,000. Oh, wait. 43 and 2,000. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can. Damage per shot, 175. Attack speed, 4. Yeah, I can. I can take him out. And that's going to be fine. Uh, so what I want to do now is go ahead and go under Diplomacy. I want to go for this and get this ceasefire agreement. 22k. That's basically all my money. That gives me a two-hour ceasefire agreement. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, replace with the Trinidad. Thank you. Alright. Pop over here with him. Hmm. I wanted to see if boosting that helped. Yeah, boosting that working conditions by 50% helped. Gave me enough clay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and grab 10 of those. Bring them down here to her. What does she got? An escort quest. Fortunately, right now, I can't do an escort quest, even though that would be fantastic. Let's triple speed this and get our flagship down here. And let's watch Taka be a terrible, terrible admiral. <laughs> because that's what it is. I'm always a terrible admiral. But we're going to try to do this. Nope, nope. Stay back behind him. Come on. Aha, got him. He's kind of skirted around the edge there a little bit. All right, cool, cool. Got him taken care of. Lovely. All right, let's see what else I want to do here. I think I do want to go ahead and throw in a Bruno uh, for this guy right here. I want to go ahead and get that Bruno in there. That's going to increase our production down to 20 seconds. That's going to give us steam motors and advanced weapons that I can sell. The problem with doing that, of course, is that now my steel production is down. Uh, but I can boost it by 50%. Workers aren't going to be happy about it, but they're at plus 21, so they're fine. So now we are making enough and I am okay. Lovely. I have a cat trying to get in my lap again, honey. You have to stay down. All right. Let's sell those fur coats. There's a lovely 9900. Oh, so good. So good. Now we got some money again. This is where the money's going to start rolling in is with those fur coats. Also, with the um, advanced weapons and stuff, which I'm going to go... I'm... Uh, you know what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and set that to sell. And we're going to sell that when it's just over 10. I, I don't need hardly any of these right now. So we're just going to sell when it's over 10. Uh, these things just use cannons still. So the advanced weapons, which are right there, I'm going to sell. Let's just say when it's over 5. We'll keep a couple in stock just in case. But those things sell for a ton. If we take a look right here. I'm sorry if y'all hear a bunch of banging around. My cat is, she's just, she's in a mood apparently today. Uh, anyways, as you can see, they sell for 9,000 each. These sell for 7,000 each. Holy crap, it is so good to sell these things. I'm going to be making so much money so fast, it's ridiculous. There we go, another 12k. All of our, we're making all of our money back, which is awesome. Plus some, as soon as these right here start selling, which they'll start selling pretty soon. Since I'm making one every third cycle. So every 20, 40, about every minute, basically. About about once per minute, I'm making steam, motor, uh, steam motors and advanced weapons. So I can sell a couple at a time and start raking in the cash. 
That way I can do things like buying clippers if I want, or buying uh, frigates, having some extra fleet power with us. Okay, I do need to get a hospital here very, very soon. Uh, that's going to be really, really crucial is to get that hospital up and running. Surprised we haven't been hit with an illness yet. It is getting rather close. In terms of our needs, yeah, we almost have everything we need to get to engineers. Let's go ahead and do a little more upgrading here then. Let's uh let's get that let's get that going. What have you done? Yeah, he's not gonna like that. It's fine. I don't really worry about him. Uh, I would like to have not up here. Yeah, a repair crane. I do want a repair crane. I'm gonna stick it out there for right now. I know it's not pretty. We're gonna make it pretty later. I, I swear we're gonna make things pretty later. Just at the moment, my goal is mostly money and getting advanced to uh, investors. Are you already? Oh no, they're not filled up yet. I'm him over here so he can repair that up really quick. All right, triple speed this. Let's get ourselves up a little bit higher in population. There we go. All right, university is unlocked now. Uh, uh, university, hospital. Hospital is going to be more critical right now, honestly. Um, I do have city incidents on hard, so I am going to be hit with, you know, a fair number of diseases and stuff here soon. I'm Like I said earlier, I'm surprised I have not been hit with them yet already. I'm going to shift this around, though. I'm going to move that hospital here so it's a little more centralized. Yeah. Move some of these houses around real quick. There we go. Okay, that'll work. All right. So I just need to save up 40 more windows. Yep. See, there's the demand. It's perfectly fine. We'll decline that. If we take a look at the new world, he's not going to come anywhere near my harbor right here. So I'm not really that concerned. We're just going to stick right here. The, hey, the, the pirates never come near the harbor. So we're just going to stay right there for right now. He's not going to be he's not going to be too much of a problem. Okay, he might buy these now. You gonna buy them? You gonna buy them? Black, white, and red all yeah, war's declared, I know. But he didn't buy any. Has anybody bought any? No. Nope. Nope. Not yet. We'll keep an eye out. They may buy it soon. Alright, I am going to uh, skip ahead until we have our 40 windows. So that way we can get our university and get the um, get our engineers going. So I'll be back in just a second, guys. Okay, guys, and we are back. And I've done a little more expansion on the city right here. I kind of expanded up this way some just to go ahead and start, you know, continuing to expand our population out. Uh, we're doing really good. You know, we've got a balance of almost 3,000 with a population of uh, about a little over 4,200. We have 125 coins. I want to show you how strong Bruno is in this early game. Look how much we're making off of this. Just one right there one right there one there one there she's the one buying all these and we are making an absolute fortune off of madame kahina buying those weapons from us it is amazing bruno is so so strong even outside of docklands which is typically what most people use him for in the early game like this with the grand gallery available to us and everything he is just going to make you so much cash it is so awesome uh but yeah making a lot of money now i am i feel very secure in our income at this point i don't think i'm going to be worrying about it too much uh we got a few more 
uh, artisans in here. All of my artisans are within range of the town hall. That's kind of what I'm wanting to keep that at. Uh, just so I can keep all of the canned food right here centralized until I can go and get some more actors and everything. That way I don't have to produce my own canned food right now. Uh, but we are ready to go ahead and get that university in. So let's pop him in there. We're going to pop him in over... Uh, you know, I think we're going to pop him in over here. I am humbled. Lovely. I'm going to pop him right there. I'm not going to put in any houses, I don't think, right here. I think I actually want to leave that empty. Maybe put some parks in there. So we're going to do my... Uh, this is my temporary... I'm going to do something with this later decoration. Uh, with the... Uh, with the temperate gr with the temperate grove the temperate grove is literally the i'll deal with this later decoration as what i that is how i view that decoration i'll deal with it later just adds in a little quick pop of green all right so that's in there uh we don't have much to upgrade i can upgrade like four of these guys so let's just upgrade these four or these three rather right there and there we go. We have entered the age of science and wonder with our first engineers. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Although there, oh, it just hasn't filled up all the way yet. It will fill up more here in a second. So, got our first engineers in there. Uh, we need our spectacles. Obviously, we're going to be unlocking coffee later, light bulbs and electricity. All these fun things. Can't wait to get the bank. In terms of lifestyle needs, uh, we can go ahead and give them soap as well. So that's going to be useful to get them some soap early on. And then chocolate, mezcal, and ice cream, which we have artistas as well as medicine and the shampoo, which I don't supply because they consume so much of it. Uh, we probably will give them some soap, though. Make sure they're nice and clean. But yeah, there we go. Already at engineer phase with a healthy balance, healthy or healthy balance, healthy bank account right here. Oh God, here she goes. Hold on. Oh God, she she bugs the crap out of me. She doesn't shut up. Uh, but anyways, guys, there we go at the engineer phase now. Pretty quick and painless to get there. To be honest, if you just kind of follow the tips and tricks that I gave you right here to get up there to it. Obviously, we are making use of Grand Gallery items to help with that. So it does take away a lot of the stress and struggle of trying to get to those later stages in the game. But we've done it. We are very happy. We're going to be taking a break from the old world in the next episode, and we are going to head over to the new world. Did I say new world? Did I say old world? Whichever. We're going over to Manola next, and we're going to start uh, settling Manola and getting uh, at least the Obreros up and running over here. Take a break from that. That way we can get the chocolate unlocked and the sugar unlocked and all that kind of stuff because we do need that for our people in the old world as well. And I want to go ahead and just uh, get all this over here going and some cash rolling in from this region. So other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, take care.